check it. Oh, just a minute. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Um, welcome to Ask Marusha again. Nobody asked me any questions. Well, I got one question and a question that I forgot last time. So I'll answer those, I suppose. Uh, why is the sky blue? Asked by Steven. Well, that's a complicated question. And even the answer I got is theoretical. It's not like for sure, but basically the atmosphere has many layers. So it's like the how light travels through all these layers and stuff. And it looks blue to us, apparently. That's the best answer I could come up with. Um, okay, what else? Oh yeah, the leftover question that I had was uh, a brief story of Martin Luther and Katharina von Bora. Um, Luther was like the guy who nailed the 95 theses to the Wittenberg church door. Uh, he wanted reform in the Catholic Church. They didn't want it, so he had to be excommunicated and stuff. Thus, the Reformation and the, the Protestant Reformation happened. Anyway, he was a monk. Therefore, monks are celibate, right? In the Roman Catholic Church. He was a Roman Catholic monk and also a lawyer, I think. Or he was going to be a lawyer, but he had like this road to Damascus experience and became a monk. Anyway, um, so this monk named Martin nailed the 95 theses to the door. Ooh, I know what will help. I'll be right back. Here we go. Here's Martin Luther. And here's Katarina von Bora. So he had like been excommunicated and everything. And he had all these monk friends who he was encouraging to get married. He encouraged all his buddies, all his monk friends to go get married. So there was like this, uh, these nuns in a co convent nearby, I think. Uh, Katarina Von Bora was a nun, um, and they caught wind of all the stuff that Herr Luther was doing, and um, they wanted reform too. They were like excited about it, um, so they wanted to join the cause. So all these nuns escaped the convent. They had to escape. Um, and they were transported in like fish barrels and stuff. Katharina von Bora arrived at Martin Luther's, um, I guess there's a group of them all together, uh, place where he was like high, uh, ministering and teaching and stuff. So all these nuns came smelling like fish in these barrels. <laughs> um, they had cut all their hair short and stuff like that so they could disguise themselves as men and it was quite a harrowing escape and stuff so they escaped the convent um, they weren't nuns anymore and so Herr Luther encouraged all his brethren to marry all the ex-nuns except for himself for some reason Katarina was one of the, was the last one, or one of them, or something. And she was like, Hey Luta, yes, Katarina Bambora, why is it you encourage all your friends to get married, but you yourself remain single? Uh, good question, Katarina Bambora. So, like, they, like, got to know each other. And they eventually got married. Um, back then, it was customary for 
the wedding night to be witnessed. Can you imagine? Anyway, so they got married and they had a bunch of kids. Um, she was a very, very good support to Martin. Um, I think he went through like some stressful, a lot of stress, like anxiety and stuff like that. So she was a big help to him and took care of him. Um, and he affectionately called her Katie. So it's a very good story. And they always had, they always had his students in their home. There was always somebody at, at the table and they talked theology and learn and stuff like that. Um, he was a preacher of the gospel, the true gospel of Jesus Christ. And um, his life was in danger many times because of his stance against the Roman Catholic Church. Um, and his preaching of the gospel and translating the Bible into the, into German. Um, so yeah, that's basically a summary of the story of Martin Luther and Katharina von Bora. Okay, thanks. Remember everybody, please ask me questions. Um, I love answering questions and interacting with you. Uh, and I even learn stuff because I have to look stuff up. Um, so please email me your questions at idea such was I at gmail.com or comment under this video or uh, if you're seeing this on Facebook comment in the Facebook place or the comment places and yeah thanks for your questions and God bless you have a good weekend goodbye